Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Che Dorena. We all know about Alcatraz Prison. It's one of the most famous parts of American history, and while it was open, it was home to some of the worst criminals around. You can even take tours there now. I don't know about any of you guys, but that would be a hard pass for me. I'd rather look at it from the mainland while I'm on the beach slurping mojito. But because of this infamous prison's dark, twisted past, it's racked up some pretty crazy legends, and that's why we're doing a list of top 10 Alcatraz urban legends. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, make sure you follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Facebook and Instagram. There's a loads of stuff on there, and it's a great way to get to know myself and the other Most Amazing Top 10 hosts a little bit better. And without taking any longer, let's get into it. Number 10, the strip cell. Prison is already bad as it is. Everyone is mean to you, and they don't even let you bring in your super rare collection of Yu Gi Oh cards so everyone knows how how cool you are. And at Alcatraz, they would go the extra mile to make sure your stay at one of the harshest prisons in the world was even worse. Rumor has it they would put you in the basement of cell block D, which was nicknamed the strip cell, because they would strip you naked and throw you in there with nothing. It would be pitch black, there would be no mattress, no pillow, no sink, not even a toilet. You had to poop in a hole in the ground. Not even a seat. It was just a straight up poop hole. They would also barely feed you. You would only get one glass of water and one piece of bread a day. I guess the benefit of that would be you wouldn't have to use the poop hole a lot. And I don't think I have to mention, you were in complete isolation. It's unknown how long prisoners would be shoved into these little holes, but some speculate it could have been months before you were released. Number 9, the utility corridor. The whole point of Alcatraz prison is it was supposed to be so isolated that no prisoner could escape. The people who designed the prison thought that by building a prison on an isolated island, would give inmates such loss of hope that it would break their spirits and then in turn make them easier to reform. Little did they know that criminals are a pretty motivated bunch and these psychological tactics didn't stop a bunch of people from trying to escape. Three of whom were Bernard Coy, Marvin Hubbard, and Joe Kretzer. They had the crafty idea of trying to find a way to sneak out through the utility corridor. And it would have worked too if Alcatraz wasn't constantly covered with patrol guards. They were caught trying to sneak out and they were shot dead on the spot and killed. Hill. Now the legend goes that their ghosts still haunt the hallways of the utility corridor. A night guard even said he would hear the sounds of prisoner chains banging against metal walkways. Number 8. The Beast in Cell 14D If getting thrown into a cell with no clothes or food or being forced to poop down a hole wasn't bad enough, how about being killed by some supernatural being? The legend of the beast is about an inmate who was found dead in his cell. One night an inmate started screaming out of nowhere that there was a creature with glowing red eyes in his cell and it was trying to kill him. None of the guards came to check because no one believed him. Everyone figured he was trying to get moved to another cell or he had officially gone insane, which was pretty commonplace over there. When the guards came to check his cell in the morning, he was dead. He had been strangled to death even though he was in his cell all alone and later that day when they were doing a head count, they reported one extra person. After a recount, they realized that they had just made a mistake, but the guards swore that they saw the dead prisoner in the line of the original headcount, like his ghost was still trapped in there. If he was a ghost in there, he probably realized he could just walk through walls and he was like, peace boys. Number 7, The Butcher. I'm going to try and choose an awesome place to die because it seems like if you die in a crap place, you just get stuck in that crap place forever walking around where you can't get any friends and your eternity is now crap because you didn't die somewhere awesome like a roller coaster or a strip club. Like The Butcher here. The Butcher was discovered by famous psychic Sylvia Brown when she came to Alcohol. Alcatraz prison to see if she could talk to any of the bummed out ghosts. She connected with one who she could only name the Butcher. Upon later research, the Butcher was the name of a mob hitman that was locked away in Alcatraz years ago. His real name was Albie Maldowitz and he was murdered in the laundry room by another inmate. A very rude place to kill someone. I just washed these clothes and now they're stained with this guy's blood. Thanks a lot. Number 6, The Native American Fire. After the closure of Alcatraz in 1963, the island was left vacant until a group of Native American men took it in 1969. They did this as a way to draw attention to Native American problems in North America and it worked. The police couldn't kick them off the island because public opinion was so much in their favor. They managed to live on the island for 19 months until a fire broke out. After that, the people of San Francisco thought it was too dangerous having them on the island and they wanted them removed. 
removed. The legend goes that a group of white police officers went to the island and started the fire themselves. Number 5. Al Capone's Banjo One of the most famous inmates to be locked away in the great halls of Alcatraz was Al Capone. The gunslinging, booze selling, fedora wearing bandit was the prized possession of the secluded island jail and even though he had legendary mob status, he was afraid that he would be murdered if he spent his recreation time out in the yard. So instead, he was able to negotiate with the guards to let him practice his banjo in the showers while everyone else was out playing. It said you can still hear his banjo playing when you walk down the halls of the old prison. However, it seems pretty far fetched because Al Capone didn't die in Alcatraz. He died in his mansion in Florida from syphilis. Always wear protection. So I think it's highly unlikely that his ghost made the trip from his home in Florida to Alcatraz just to tickle some banjo strings, especially with how much his little ghost wiener would be burning. Number four, Native American spirits. So way back when, way before Alcatraz prison was built, before the settlers came to America, the Native American people would use the island as a way to punish people. They would send people there and force them to fend for themselves on the island. Some people were even exiled there with no hope of ever returning. The native people believed that evil spirits lived on the island and if you died there, they would torture your soul forever. Which is a pretty ruthless punishment. They couldn't send to someone to death and just let them walk into the afterlife, no. They needed to be tortured for all of eternity. It's crazy that centuries later the island was turned into a place of banishment again. It's like we just inherently knew that this island gave off major bad vibes. Like I said before, let's grab mojitos and go to the beach and instead of going to this island. I don't need that stuff messing around with my aura. I'm having a great year. Number 3. The Lighthouse Before the jail was built, there was a creepy old lighthouse that sat on the island. Now nothing really happened at the lighthouse while it was standing. It was torn down to make way for the prison. But it said on a foggy night you can see the lighthouse shining its light through the fog. Do lighthouses have ghosts? Do I need to worry about inanimate objects having ghosts now? Am I going to be haunted by my iPhone 5S when I'm 65? I'll wake up in a cold sweat like ugh, the battery life was terrible. If this one is true, it's pretty weird but not that spooky. If this thing is real, it sounds less like something that would scare me and something more like Casper the Friendly Ghost sidekick. Like Jasper the Helpful Lighthouse. Even though I'm dead, it doesn't mean I don't care about nautical safety. Boo! Number 2. The Silence So we've established that while this house of horrors was active, Alcatraz was one of the worst places you could be. There's a legend that describes one of the ways they would make this hell hole even worse. Apparently, the guards would enforce a strict no talking policy. Everyone had to remain in complete silence at all times. If anyone broke this rule, they would be tortured in unspeakable ways. Endless silence almost sounds peaceful, but I guess it wasn't because it would drive inmates crazy. I guess when you're forced to do anything, even sit quietly, it can rub you the wrong way. This maddening silence caused one of the inmates, Ruth Percival, to try and cut off his own hands. He made it through a couple of fingers before he got stopped, but you gotta give him an A for effort. And number one on our list is The Escape. The greatest urban legend of all of Alcatraz is the escape of prisoners Frank Morris, John Anglin, and Clarence Anglin. This literally plays out like a Mission Impossible movie. They carved holes in the walls of their cells using spoons and made cardboard grates to cover the holes so the guards couldn't tell that there was a huge chunk missing from the walls. They also made dummy heads out of soap, hair, and paint supplies to put in their beds so when the guards came to check, it looked like they were still in their beds. Once they passed through the holes in the walls. They climbed up drain pipes to the roof and then used vents to climb down to outside the prison. They then used a makeshift raft to sail to the mainland and just like that they were never seen again. It's unknown if the three convicts actually made it to shore safely. But the legendary Jack LaLanne swam from Alcatraz in handcuffs when he was like 50. So I think these three guys running for their lives could have figured it out. But since it's a legend, we really have no idea if they made it. Thank you everyone, that is our list. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Facebook and Instagram. It's a great way for you get to know all the hosts at Most Amazing Top 10 a little bit better. Until next time, I've been Che Dorena and you can catch me on the beach drinking a mojito. So that was my first glimpse of Alcatraz. It looked like to me like a French chateau.